Hi, this is Pam Brown from TMP Handmade Collections. This is series number seven. I can't believe it. This has been seven weeks of crochet tutorials. What a blessing. Okay, last week we talked about double crochet stitches. This is a headband that I made and this uses the double crochet stitches. Um, it, it, it This is going to be a, a stitch that you're going to use a lot. But keep practicing. Um, this, I, I, I love it. I just love uh, trying new things. But again, this is what it looks like. This is just a simple headband using double crochet stitch. Now, today's topic, we're going to talk about a stitch that I used to avoid. I don't know why, but it's called the uh, treble crochet. Nothing hard, nothing hard with this at all. But when you see patterns and you see the diagrams, I, it just, for me, it just, I don't know why I was afraid of this stitch. But I do use this stitch, especially like I'm going to show you um, one of my projects that I do make. This is a dress. You see this? This part right here. Make sure I'm in focus. These long stitches right here are treble crochet. So don't be afraid to use different type of stitches that you're not familiar with or used to. We're exposing you. <laughs> We're just going to expose you to the different stitches. Um, this is just a swatch of the treble crochet. Okay, see this? I just wanted to start this. All right. Let's start this again with your slip knot. Drop this in the back and pull this. You, now I know you, you, you're very proficient at doing this. Many ways to do this, so don't have to be this way that I've did it. But just make sure that you can um, tighten the yarn around your crochet hook. With the treble crochet, let's chain 14, okay? Let's start with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, you ready? With a treble crochet, you have to have at least three to four chains on the end. I'm going to bring this up like this so that you can see that because it's a tall stitch. We're going to go into the fourth chain. We're going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and we're going to wrap around again for the second time. So one, two, three, and then four. We're going to go into this chain, come up. We're going to wrap our crochet uh, oh, sorry, our yarn um, in, around the crochet hook. And you're going to pull up two loops, wrap around again. You're going to pull through two loops, and then you're going to wrap the yarn around the hook again, and you're going to pull through the last two. That's why it's called treble crochet. Okay, let's do the stitch again. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook twice. We're going to go into the next chain, 
pull up a loop and you should have four loops on your crochet hook. We're going to wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. We're going to go through two. We're going to wrap the crochet hook around the yarn or <laughs> the, the crochet hook in the yarn. Pull through two. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook one more time and pull through for the third time. There's your third stitch. See, go through two, yarn around the crochet hook, pull through two, yarn around the crochet hook, pull through two. I'm going slow so you can stay with me. Let's keep doing this. Yarn around the hook, pull through two, yarn around the hook, pull through through, through two, and yarn around the hook again for the third time, pull through two. Let's get some yarn. Oh, see, I was getting ready to do a double crochet. And you have to be focused <laughs> when you do this because it's very easy to really get distracted with this. So, okay. Two. 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 Wrap around twice. Pull up, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, pull through two, make sure I'm in focus. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook, pull through the next two, and yarn around the crochet, crochet hook, and pull through the last two for treble crochet. I'm gonna do this all the way to the end because we're going to go to row two. Okay, this is the last chain. With this, we're going to, see we're at the end of the row. To start the next row, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're going to turn. Let me get some more yarn. We're going to wrap this crochet hook twice again. We're going to go in here in this first stitch, pull up, wrap the yarn around, two, yarn around hook, two, yarn around hook, two. This is your second row. Do it again.
Now, I'm going to show you the stitches and, and how they vary in length. You remember last week was double crochet? Two and two. The week before that was the half double crochet where we went through all three and then it was the single crochet. Sometimes you will have a crochet pattern <laughs> that will have you to do something like this to help bring down uh, the size of the stitch for decreasing or decreasing in size. So you, you may see this. That's why I'm showing you the variation in the stitches. Okay, now that's it for this week. I hope you keep practicing. This is what we did today, treble crochet. Um, as always, I enjoy talking to you all. And um, if you can, submit pictures of anything that you made on our TMP Handmade Collections Facebook page. We welcome that. We this, this helps me to know if this is helping you. So again, have a blessed and wonderful week. And we'll see you next week for crochet series number eight. Pam Brown. TMP Handmade Collections. Bye-bye, guys.